Hello, welcome back to the Timo Ball Web Coach channel. And today I would like to show you how I glue and prepare my rackets. And today is a special day. I will change my plates. I get six new babies and I'm really looking forward to test them out and hopefully I like them. But first of all, yeah, it's a lot of work to prepare them. I mean, six backhand rubbers, six forehand rubbers, and I will guide you how I do it. And yeah, it's a very simple way, but I try to be really yeah, accurate and precise how I glue. And so I would like to show you and maybe you can do, do it the same way. First step. First step is always I am weighing out my rubbers. So I have a small scale and yeah, a pen and I write down how many grams each rubber has. So this is good to, to know the, the hardness and, or softness of the rubber. I mean, I like to play harder rubbers and they are too soft already. Um, I give them back to the company. So I'm a sponsored player, so I'm really lucky. And um, but if I don't use them, I give them back. So let's start weighing them out. Um, I'm using the the Dignix O9C already for a while, and I play them quite heavy. First, I have to connect my, my scale. Normally, I use it for weighing out my coffee beans. But it's also a good scale for, for weighing out the rubbers. I mean, it's very precise. And this one is 81 gram. Oh, first mistake, I have to put off the paper, which... So 78.2. Next backhand rubber, again, 78.2. Number three, oh, this one is a bit lighter, 77.4. That's a soft one, 76.6. At home I have a, a little bit larger scale, which is a bit more convenient than that one. This is, a, this is just for espressos. <laughs> so, next one is 77.2. So especially during competitions I like to know how many grams I played and especially if I had the feeling the rubber is really good then I try to have exactly the same weight on the next racket. So I switch them regularly after one or two days during a competition. Oh, 78.3 bit harder. So these are the backhand rubbers and now we are coming to the forehand side. Normally they are a bit heavier. Not this time. 76.2.
I mean, anyway, in the beginning, to play with a new blade, it's it's really different. I mean, it's a lot faster. It's a lot more stiff in the beginning. And but it's fun. I mean, it's always fun to test out new equipment, especially blades or rubbers. And the last one is. 77.4 Okay So the scale we don't need anymore Next step The first step or the second step is to put the first layer of glue on the rubber sheet so I move my blades a little bit away and position my rubbers in front of me. Three. Oh my gosh, my table is not big enough. So backhand on the top. Exactly. Space for six rubbers in one row. Okay. One of these rubbers. So Dignix 09C. So it's a very sticky rubber, so be careful with it a little bit because um, yeah all the dust is sticking to the surface very easily and so better use the sheet or I think butterfly they have also some kind of sticky sheets uh, which I also use in my suitcase and it yeah, keeps the rubber quite long a little bit more sticky and um, I prefer the sticky sheets more than this paper sheets, but yeah, for gluing it's perfect. So I'm using the Free Check Pro, and yeah, just water-based glue, no tune at, at all. I mean, I never tried it out because I always try to be fair and uh, follow the rules and so I get used to it. I mean a lot of players using tuners and boosters but um, I got used to it. Um, I have a quick arm and stay closer to the table so not, not that big a disadvantage for me. So important is uh, to use not too much glue and not too less, I mean, and try to be really accurate. Um, try to use always the same amount of glue for each rubber and I mean, I, I have a lot of practice <laughs> doing that, but I mean, it's really not so much fun, takes a lot of time. But compare the gluing before with the old glues, uh, yeah, it's much, much easier because just use it one time, invest one hour for six rackets around and then you're done for a quite long time. So I have to be careful because I 
I'm always tending to use too much glue the longer I <laughs> am doing it. But this was already a bit too much, so try to make it more equal, more accurate. So you can see already the first one is drying a little bit. So it's going quite fast. So my old plates I was using around Two or three years now but I can feel they they become a bit slower and all the sweat which is inside now it makes the whole blade a bit softer and slower so I mean depends how much you sweat and how, how long you were using it, how many tournaments and games you played. So to, to use six blades, I mean, that's not normal. I think I'm the only player who use that many rackets. And I have also no favorite racket. I change them really regularly. And I'm also not superstitious, so that's also quite important because if you, if you win one game and normally if you are superstitious, then you don't change. And I'm very strict, so the rubber gets a little bit too old. I'm, I'm changing to the next racket and I have always enough rackets prepared for, for my tournaments. So the last forehand, oh, that was too much. Okay, now it's time for all backhand rubbers. All the rubbers are covered with glue now and now we skip over to the blades. First try to clean your hands. Okay this is the first blade but because I have already six blades so this is number seven. Last but not least, number 12. So for the blades, it's the same thing. I'm using a new sponge because the other one was full of glue. And So 
be careful, especially when the sponge is new. Put a little bit more. of work. I'm already sweating. It's warm in here. So this is the second layer already for the rubbers. Okay, the most boring work is done. So let's wait for, let's say, two to three hours. Um, yeah, all the rubbers need to dry, the blades as well, and then we can go on. To, to cut it or to bring it on and then cut it. Okay, the stuff dried out now for around two hours. Um, yeah, there are no, there is no wet glue anymore somewhere and just checking out if there are no gluing particles somewhere because um, you will get some ugly waves when you when you put them on there are some remnants or some particles left so be aware that you you cleaned you cleaned them out so I will start uh, with the racket seven. So I move them a little bit away to have more space. Um, some of the players they are using a, a roller, uh, but I use my forearm to to roll the rubbers on. But yeah, I start always with the with the red rubber with the backhand side. Move that a little bit away. And yeah. Be careful to make it really accurate in the middle. And first of all I just lay it on the top without any pressure. Then I check if there is no then I check if there are no air bubbles. And then I give a lot of pressure. Okay. Looks good. Okay, so now I leave a little bit space to the to the wood, to the blade, that the rubber can, can swing a little bit. 
so maybe half a millimeter or that's okay I mean there are rules that, that it's not too much but yeah like this should be okay Okay, now the forehand side. So first of all, I write down backhand seventy eight. which is also very important to document the weights of the rubbers so yeah record seven seventy seven point four forehand backhand Record eight will be seventy seven point two backhand and seventy seven point four forehand. So that's quite important to have an overview especially when you play with them and you have the feeling this one is great and look back and check which weight it was and then you can put on the same for your next record or game. All right, six rackets, six blades, 12 rubbers, and we are still not done. So what is missing? It's the edge tape. I'm using a, an edge tape now for around two years. So the problem was always the edge tape changes the characteristics of the rubber and yeah how how the whole racket feels especially it's not swinging that much and yeah it was a some kind of dump feeling i don't know but now i found out i'm using the edge tape just on the lower half just for security reasons because I'm hitting quite often the table with that side especially when I receive so always when I hit the table here when I receive yeah the rubber was was in danger to to get loosening to get loosening and yeah with the with the edge tape it's more secure and yeah like this it's not changing that much the characteristics of the of the of the racket so yeah it's a good way for me to a, a balanced way
for me to have some security and not changing the characteristics too much. So I'm doing that now for all the records and then we're done. All right, this was my procedure, how I glue my record, how I prepare it and hopefully you liked it. Um, write your comments below. Uh, I'm also interested how you prepare your record and see you in the next video. Subscribe my channel and you will be updated. All right, see you.